Let's do mage. I don't want to do paladin. We already have a 12 month hunter. Mastering the arcane arts. Mm, okay. Hero power killing, drawing a car. That's pretty good. I feel like we're not going to beat that. Yeah, even Archaeologist doesn't beat Pyromaniac. No, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me all the threes. All the threes. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of joking, game. Please don't actually give me all threes. Alright, alright, good, good. Ethereal Conjurer is something I can do. Uh, Royal Librarian. Are you kidding me? Royal Librarian has a higher win rate than Ethereal Conjurer. I mean, librarians are insanely good, um, but no. Are our mage spells bad in this uh, in this rotation? All mage spells can't be bad. No, arcane overflows here. Okay, you know what? There is not that many amazing mage spells, especially ones that are big compared to normal. But um, but there are still good enough ones that I'm taking this. Librarian is good for control mage. Librarian is good for everything. Coast, what's up? Coast is, I think Conjure is really slow, but you still kind of have to try because spells are the whole reason you play this class. Ah, so true. I think we also have way too many three drops. I don't really trust putting this librarian here. And we may get more librarians later, right? Um, well, this is not good. Can you believe that Mad Scientist's win rate is no higher than Doppelgangster? And Vexcrow? I don't want to take any more 3 mana cards. I'm going to take a Doppelgangster here. I don't want to take any more 3 mana cards, so I don't want to take any more secrets. So it's kind of like Doppelgangster or a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. Do I go the other way now? I don't. I'm gonna stick with what I know. I really don't want to pass up a two drop given how this deck is, but I can't really pass up Arcane Defenders. I think it's the right pick, but I just don't want to pick it. You know? Oh, you know what? Loot Hoarder's win rate is almost the same. No, I can't do Loot Hoarder. Or can I do Loot Hoarder? Maybe I can do Loot Hoarder. You know what? I think I'll do Loot Hoarder. I just really don't like this image. <clears throat> and I have enough big stuff. I don't need big stuff. We'll do a Loot Hoarder. Okay. I'll take that. I've died to so many Necrotic Gaze, by the way. Don't say anything. Am I desperate enough for the play to Beetle? Traveling Merchant is like super not what this deck is about. I'm gonna take a play to Beetle. I'm just gonna say I'm desperate enough for a play to Beetle. We have enough threes anyway. Not that uh, Traveling Merchant's a three. Oh, Bloody Knight. No, I gotta take First Flame. Bloody Knight is so good, though. I can't. Right? One, two, three, four, five. I can't. I can't take a Bloody Knight here. Okay, fine. Force me to take this card. I'm glad I didn't take it earlier. Your next Fire Spell has Spell Damage plus two. Well, I do have a fire spell in this deck already. I may pick up another one. So, Prestor seems pretty good. Better than Mistress of Mixtures, I'll take it. One, two, three, four. Do 
Do we secretly have a mech deck? We do not. Okay, Restaurant Viper is fine. You don't need more threes, but I'm gonna take it over Raid Leader in this kind of deck. Is it another fireball? It kind of has to be, right? Like, I can't take a fourth Ethereal Conjurer. Can I take a fourth Ethereal Conjurer? I like Ethereal Conjurer better for this deck than Fireball. Let me just straight up tell you that. But, like, no, right? Like, I have to just take a Fireball. This is tough. This may be Ethereal Conjurer. Maybe you just kind of go for it. We have all the three drops that we need. We have four of the two drops. We just need to fill in the four drops. And then the rest don't really matter, right? Past that, we just kind of want more conjures. Conjure more fun. It's close. This is extremely, extremely close. You have so much value, you kind of just need to live. I don't have that much value. Just three conjures. That's three extra cards. It's not like an insane amount of value. I'll take a fireball. I'll take a fireball. And arcane defenders, fair. Uh, Tuscar fisherman, yes. It's parrot. I don't have any spells that cost five or more, but it's parrot. Parrot is nutty with this deck. I mean, oh, oh we do. We have arcane defenders. Oh yeah, it's definitely parrot. Even without Arcane Defenders, I was going to do Parrot, by the way. Uh, I think it's Arcane Bolt over Magistar's Apprentice. You kind of do the same thing. But I think I'm early enough, right? Yeah, I already have 5-2 drops and I'm early enough. I don't need it for my last one. Well, our, well Arcane Bolt is, uh, is going to give me some good flexibility. It's also an Arcane spell that already synergizes with the Magistar's Apprentice. Okay, I need four drops after this. Please, four drops are insanely good big cards. Four drops are insanely good big cards. Four drops are... I guess it's an infected peasant. Need four drops, come on. Four drops! Okay, it's a stockade's guard. I don't have a one drop yet. Having one one drop is useful, especially one that taunts things up, which is also useful. Four drops, okay? I have three more cards to draft. They have to all be four drops. Hey, that's a four drop. Okay, one more four drop after this. One more four drop after this. One more four drop. Not a four drop. Um, I guess it has to be Mad Bomber, even though it doesn't fit into my at all. So this part of the deck through Sarah Knight Chain Gang is like, hey, let's push, you know, push real hard, fireball some to the face, arcane bolt some to the face, be like a hunter. And then this part of the deck is, wait, you have huge gigantic bombs and a lot of card draw. Well, we don't actually have a lot of card draw because however much card draw that we have, these are like really good for cards, but we're going to lose them over here. Arcane Bolts are tiny. First Flames are fine. But like Stockades Guard is tiny. All these two drops are tiny with the exception of Loot Hoarder. And then we have a ton of three drops, which isn't really doing us that many favors. We don't actually have a big deck. Jaina versus the Lich King. The past is dead. Knowledge is power. You know how many two drops we said we had? Oh, we had way too many. Are we gonna full mulligan and not be able to get it? <clears throat> I think this deck will go like seven wins. This feels like a real deck. Is this really gonna happen? Come on, game. 
We have like eight two drops. And we full mulligan for it. And we have a one drop too. Missed two damage already? No, I'm saving this for turn eight. Come on, look at this. Just like read the card. Why would you deal two damage when you could deal three? Okay, so we first miss our two drop despite a full mulligan. That is our first move. Cool. He basically does the same. This is slightly better because it gives him a corpse. Dark Reaper carry? I'm just happy I have a card to play. But yeah, the way this deck ended up turning out, that Raven would have been pretty awesome. I have but little time. Drop Viper is that much better. It's a plus one, plus one on the board. But keeping it in my hand means I can trade it later, or I can nab a weapon off it, which will be a huge swing. Or it's just more flexible as a three mana card instead of a four mana card. Like, we didn't have a two drop, so however this deck is in this particular game, we are very not aggressive. We're gonna have to go to the end. I have but little time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get them Free me. Come on. What have you got? Also, oh, removals are terrible against Death Knight. Now that there's a, uh, there's no more uh, horror. None of their stuff sticks around. Too much initiative. We all know what we're doing. We're both playing for card advantage. He is winning right now. One Sandy get you after I'm done. One turn, I can't lose that much just to get a 2-5 on the board. A 2-5 tunnel board doesn't do me much good. As the witch commands. Oh. The streets are not safe! Grab your shield! It's a riot! So I have two fireballs. If I draw my other fireball, then I have three fireballs. Hey, stranger, we'll offer you aid. And if I have three fireballs, I win the game. I just have to throw this two four onto. The... No, no, that doesn't work. Yet. Give me two damage in. You want it? I 
God. Me, not you. Mm -hmm. Love is just an arrangement Bitch. away. Time runs out on me. We're not playing the board here. We're trying to win the game. We can't win on the board. He has way more cards than us. Like, even the para combo isn't going to get us anywhere near back. Remember, these arcane bolts just deal three damage. So we've been waiting for him. Let's see if he can flip the whole board, which is what he's good at. Because he's a death knight and he's been saving a lot of cards because I have not been presenting that much pain on him. That's how many corpses he has. Oh. Does he have it? Did he top deck it? Oh my god, he top decked it. Oh. He fucking top decked it. Well, that's the game. It's like uh, that top deck from uh, the last run, too. That just ended the game. If he didn't top deck it, we win. Same here. If he doesn't top deck it, we win. If he does top deck it, we do not win. We do not do not win. 12 plus 3 is 15. We know what our win conditions are. We'll get top deck. Nope. Fireballs to the face. Before he can finish the job. What? That is a terrible move on his part. This is an awful move. I mean, we are 0-0. Zero, zero. It's entirely possible he really sucks. Mm -hmm. So he just missed one face damage and an extra plus one plus one on the board. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Okay, let me get one draw into it.
Nope. We can't win. Well, hold on. Hmm. Can we not lose? Four, eight, ten. Yeah, okay. We can, we can. We could have saved that. The three damage. I don't know what that would have done. Oh, okay. We're gonna lose anyway then. You know, just these top decks. He had them, we didn't. It's a very specific card too. That was literally the only card that would have ruined us. So he had to have it in his deck, and then he had to do it. No, I'm good. That's not Death Knight doing Death Knight things. We had him. That's just him drawing one Jane, out of his, uh, you know, 15 or so cards. You asked for it. Knowledge is power. He needed it that turn. And he got it. And you can't compete with that. No matter what deck you have. I'll take a three. Three mana, three, four is fine. Uh, this can't be good. His call to aggro was correct, though, if he knew he had Morag. I'm not saying his call was wrong. His other calls were wrong. The guy made, like, four noticeable misplays. Like, he is clearly not a good player. But I'm not saying that one move was wrong. We would have still won though, because he can't like he can't prepare for like 18 damage to the face, which is what we were trying to get. Like we knew our win condition, and we were 100% right about our win condition. Please help me! Oh, Grimley, you didn't see the game. Um, he was a super bad player, um, and he did not have a very good deck. Uh, he just drew the one card that he needed as a top deck after we had, I don't know, something like 30-something, 30 30-something 30 worth of tempo on the board to his empty board. To be fair, we were at the 0-0 zero, zero bracket. The streets are not safe! Please help me! Oh, I don't want to fireball that. As dingo. You know what? I will not fireball that. Mind if I roll need? Please help me. Evacuate. Google said, I didn't know Brandon also enjoyed this. Look how it burns! I don't get it. Run for him! You are Show these mortals your true form! Oh, that ain't good. You cannot quell our flames! And the first card he draws is a dragon rather than a spell, and it is a very useful one. What are the odds? Whoa! What? He doesn't want that? Or he has another? Yeah, maybe. I know what my win condition is. 
I have four more damage that goes to his face. He's at eight. I have Arcane Bolt, three. He's at five. I need to ping his face five times. Or draw my fireball. Or... Okay. That doesn't actually solve his problem. Face, 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 face. Alright, that's fine. Can I generate more bolts? Sure. Ethereal Conjurer can do anything. Great. He has 13. That's too much. Let's get some fireballs to the face. You want it? I got it. I think it's Ignite rather than Arcane Int. Arcane Bolt was one more damage. Minions, servants, soldiers of the cold guard. All we need is ignite for the fireball to win. Right? something else. That's what we're looking for last game, that's what we got this game. That's why you don't take the Arcane Int. Because you know what the Arcane Int does not do? Doesn't win you the game. It just prolongs the game that he is winning. So our only win condition is Fireball to the face? When our opponent has the cards that our opponent has, yes. We're facing like 12 win decks, back to back to back to back to back. To be able to squeeze out a win is ridiculous. And they're not just like 12 win decks. They're either 12 win decks or they top deck the one single card that like half or less than half of the decks in the class has. Jaina versus Thrall. It makes Fireball harder to bind. It doesn't make Fireball. I mean, it literally makes Fireball one harder to bind by like 5% or something. But you don't need a Fireball to win. You need a Fireball to win on that turn. But if you got the other one and you went face with it, you still have a good chance to win later on. Like, cause you're not dying in like two turns. Yeah, okay. Guess it's better than the other one. Like, this turn at least. <coughs> oh, we have this card in our deck that we have yet to see. Yeah, Grimly, but making the deck bigger, it makes it bigger by such a tiny percentage. Like, that is not something that sways your decision. Drawing the cards does give you a better chance at, uh, at Fireball. But, you're missing two damage on his face, right? Like, you have two less damage on his face. That's huge. Arcane Bolt then? But you don't need Arcane Bolt. What's the point of Arcane Bolt? What's the point of dealing a tiny bit extra damage? We only have Fireball in the deck left that can deal with direct base damage. So you would have to play for the Conjurer Discover into something very specific without the ability to discover something else. Like, it's a, it's a very small scenario that you're dealing with there. Uh, Tar Creeper or Pyromaniac to be a little more aggressive. Save the fire I have good plays. Like, I can Enchanter and First Flame to deal 4 damage. Like, that one extra damage from Arcane Bolt was totally useless in almost all scenarios. Like, in 95% of scenarios that you're facing. But that's why it's not worth it compared to, uh, uh, compared to Ignite. Okay. Don't forget to tip your Torin. Weird move by him. Very suspicious. I am not flooding the board with that. That 
didn't go as bad. Okay, why not do that first? Oh, because then you have the coin there. What to do? What to do? Look how it burns! Bottoms up! Enchanter 444. It's gonna be a pretty good turn. Well played. That minion already attacked. Like, we now know that he has no board clears, if that was his way of dealing with it, unless the board clear is 7 mana or above. But we're, we're good to go now. 6, 3, 9, 10, we deal 10 damage in one turn. He's dead AF? Yeah. I mean, he's Shaman, he can always heal a lot, but he needs to heal now. Or, like, actually board clear, which I don't think he can do. I mean, I know he can't do, unless it's a top deck. Is Hagatha's in? I don't think Hagatha's is in. But he doesn't need Hagatha's, right? Lightning Storm is fine. Oh, what? He had it and didn't use it last turn. What? He top decked that last turn and he didn't use it when it was way better than it is now. I mean, okay. Eight plus three is eleven. Let's see how much more he has. Good. Good, good, good. You are something else. Burn to cinders! You are something else. Okay. So, he had the removal. I don't know why he didn't use that removal first. Oof. I felt like that was way better than his one damage removal. Like, I don't know if he wins if he lightning storms at first. But I think he'd be in a much better position than using his weaker removal and waiting for the lightning storm. And that's us setting up his next lightning storm. If we just didn't have the minions to set up his next lightning storm, like we had some four or five health minions, he'd be totally screwed. So that was like his best case scenario. And I still don't think, even knowing that, that it was the right move to save the Lightning Storm. Yeah, that's what I mean. He was trying to bait, and it did work, but he's still not better off. Because, like, why would you try to bait when I'm already yeah, playing super hard in the Lightning Storm, Amanda. right? Like, I'm not playing around a Lightning Storm there. You give me strength. Knowledge is power. He just, like, had it in his mind that he is going to bait. Like, no matter what the circumstances are on the ground, his plan is bait. Like, he predetermined that without evaluating the game. And that is, that is not good. Thanks for the sub, Jazz. 54 months. Got goat, got goat.
Luke Glass says, one could say he wasn't a master baiter. Nope. He's a very noob baiter. Or just a committed baiter, you know, if you want to be more charitable. I forgot that's what it did. Okay, well, we're we're in a lot of trouble here. The streets are not safe. Your it's a right burn to cinders. It's been so long since I played with that card. See gold in your <laughs> You want uh, it? I got it. <sighs> Is that arcane bolt? It's not Sunwell, because we have another Ethereal Conjurer, so we can't afford to just like hang out and like get more spells. Maybe it is Sunwell. Because we're so desperate. I no, it's wonder. not Sunwell. It's Arcane Bolt. Evacuate! Back to your cell! Was it the best he could have done? The damned stand ready. Yes. Oh. 
want it, I got it. See how removal. That is the Icky, not me. Oh, come on. GG Parrot coming back to save us. So he drew a bajillion cards and we still won on card advantage. Right? We didn't like flip the board and hit him to the face before he got to use all his cards. He used every single one of his cards. Jaina versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Knowledge is power. Every single card and still lose. So you look at the start of that game and it looked really bad, right? Even besides us giving uh, him an extra card, like it still looked bad. He was just dominating the board. He's a priest. He's getting tons of value. He's drawing a million cards. But then we were up by like six cards by the time we launched. That is not abnormal. Not likely, but the thing with winning about on card advantage is you have a lot of time to catch up. Trying to get tempo so we don't lose immediately. I could have removed it. So the question is, do I want to sp uh, save a card or do I want a 2-1 on the board at two turns? Removed? I'd rather have the 2-1 on the board and use a card. Normally you would not rather have a 2-1 on the board and use a card. That's a terrible trade. Um, but here you do. The streets are not Burn safe! Cinders. It's so nice to be glowing. Does this glow because I, I have a fire boost? That's very nice. Just keep the fire boost. Yes! Spend 4 mana to deal damage to a 2-5. Please. Thank you. Go face! Good. That works. Uh, this can't be good. 
He's winning on the value game now. Yep, but we have an Ethereal Conjurer and a Sage Parrot. So if the Parrot isn't stuck in our hand for like more than like four turns, we should be good. Yeah, this Conjurer does. Mm -hmm. That feels good. Rate it. Player five drop. What? Got you, friend. I wonder. Is this accurate, by the way, for Arena, or is this not accurate? Run for help! Is it? Okay. Well, then that was a misplay. You want it? I got it. Oh, God. Wait, how is Vast Wisdom a card? That's insane. But, like, Arcane Overflow is also insane. I'll do Arcane Overflow. That's why I took the arcane overflow. For the guaranteed parrot. To my side. What are you talking about? How long will this go on? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if how long this will go on we'll get to see any action. We might just win the game before that. One of my favorite. These are due back tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh no. I guess. That makes my play a lot easier. Like, I was gonna do things, but now I'm just gonna do this. Well, it summons the remaining, so that's why we get a 4-4. You get smaller things if you're making it deal more damage. And we're against a hunter, even though we can heal now, so that's pretty nice. But we kind of want to get some tempo so he stops hitting us, and we can start hitting him. The streets are not safe. That feels good. <laughs> We just keep floating mana, but we're getting such good combos that it makes up more than makes up for the fact that we are very inefficient with our mana. Mm-hmm. Been holding that card for a while. Let's see what it is. Come on. Oh my god, it's your favorite thing. Is your It is. It is my favorite <laughs> thing. So are there any moms or dads in the chat? Quickly. Oh, that's what he's holding. No, that's not even what he's doing. That's what he, what he, what he like, second to last hop deck. Okay. I mean, it's, he's not going to get that much rally out of it. Yeah, he's going to kill the 4 4 and the 2 4. Like, that's fine. Yup, yup, yes. Ugh. So many parents. So. So how, how, how is it? Is it better or worse than what people thought? I don't mean like how great your child is. I mean like how terrible the whole parenting thing is. It's gonna be worse. Cause people say it's generally like pretty bad, you know? And we see, we see what Murps is going through right now. Mm -hmm. Not like visually, but he like sounds dead most of the time. And, Way harder than I thought. 
and and he was back doing the coop and then he was like nope i can't and he went back to work and he was like nope gotta take more leave after all like <laughs> it, was, it was it was things could turn on a dime apparently it's way harder than i thought mm -hmm, okay okay Hard at the beginning for sure. Okay, when did it get less hard? Like, when did it get easier than you thought, Tu Hung? I'm, I'm... So initially it was harder than you thought. So you thought it was going to be something and it was like really hard. I but at a certain point, like your sentence eye. implies that at a certain point it became like actually nicer than you thought, right? Like less stressful, less time consuming or whatever. When your hero attack- oh yeah, that's gotta die. Already hard said it's easier when you forget about what your life was before. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Ubermorph says, Hey, I'd like to hope it's all over there. I've been doing a New Vegas playthrough, which I haven't in a year. Oh, love New Vegas. I did three full playthroughs of freaking New Vegas. Probably used every single skill in the entire game. Um, so much fun. Like that's a game done right. I was sad that Fallout Four wasn't wasn't the same. I mean, it was made by a different group of people. But oh no, it's tarantula time. All right, all right. I'll get it. Super fast. Super fast. Second has been way no, easier no, no, than no, the first. No, 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 no. I, I don't like this propaganda that the government is trying to push here. More kids, <laughs> more labor for tax collection purposes. No, no, no. One will will suffice. I thought two was Titans of the New West. It's a great mod for New Vegas. Ah, oh, mod. Okay, I may consider it. I'm I'm like so like full up on games though. Like, Diablo Immortal takes so much of my time, and I'm ramping down Diablo Immortal, Jane, but, like, only so that I can play Diablo King. 4. The past like, and more Hearthstone. Like, I'm ramping down Diablo Immortal Knowledge because I know, like, power. Hearthstone, uh, the mini set's gonna come, and I'm gonna wanna actually play in a standard arena meta. Because whatever this is, right? Like... Whether you like it or don't like it, whether you think it's fair or not fair, and I think I happen to think it's more fair than most people think it is. Like, I don't I don't mind this meta at all. But it's not, like, super exciting. Because they nerfed everything so much so much down just to make it, like, vaguely functional, right? right? But in a standard meta, they could kind of let it loose and let Arena be what Arena should be. Yeah, me have that for you. And Gattlethorpe says, I was only a child that was great. Would have hated having a sibling. See, she has a sibling. I don't. I just keep asking her, do you hate your brother? No. And she's I like, I like my brother. I'm like, okay, then what's what's the what's the thing? You know? Um, I don't think that changes, like, his existence or lack of existence wouldn't change my lifestyle in terms of wanting or not wanting a second I just don't want a second child because I'm lazy. I don't want to take care. I don't want to manage more than one thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same, but, you know, we are two people, so together we can maybe manage two things. Mm, no. We can barely manage a low, <laughs> a very low-needs bunny. Bunny is fine. Tu yes. Hong says, like at two, when they start talking and comprehending your request, it gets easier. Okay. All right, Tu Hong. The only person who's ever said that children get easier at two years old. This guy just had an easy kid. Like he admits he admits his second kid was easy. So I don't know. I'm not gonna take his advice at face value. He just drew a lucky card, got a good hand, and telling us how good his game was. Well, you know, we can we can high roll. No, not from your luck, Mr. What? I'm just getting it out, right? I'm just getting it out. What was your first run today? Reach for the sky! Um, there was no first run. We just started with the second run. You know, like how we sometimes do. Yeah, like, 
sometimes in games there there are two runs and sometimes you just start on the second run. This was one of those. <laughs> Uh, I gotta read so many books on this child stuff. And by just, so many books, I mean I read one and I'm planning on reading another. And that is a lot of books for me. Just wing it. <clears throat> I don't want to just wing it. Especially if you're only going to give so me the, one. The first child is the test child. And then later, if it all goes really bad, you don't get a second child. That's, that's not a... He got lucky and had a girl and a boy. I mean, if that's if, if you want to experience the full range of a parent, I feel like that is. Flame Strike or Arcane Defenders? I guess Flame Strike because we're gonna be really behind on the board. Eight people just had kids and no books. Yeah, see, we're in, we're in no better. Okay, but cave people have less stuff to navigate, alright? They had a lot more fear for their life and like, lack of resources and resources. But they did have a lot of time by not going to work. ZX says you can read books, take classes, talk to people. Ain't nothing like being thrown into the fire. It. I got it. One more death can't hurt. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. What is it? Wow. <laughs> wow. That was a turn. That indeed was a turn. Oh, ZX says, as a parent, you're required to be sick, bad, emotional, bad, hurting, everything. Sounds like a lot because it is, but most reporting thing to me. I feel like he just cares about being a parent and enjoys it. Deep down inside. Whereas I feel like for us, we won't. The streets are not safe. Find if I don't, don't do it. Don't do it, Death Knight. Do not do it. Oh, that's okay. Okay, well I have enough card advantage over this death knight. We are even on cards right now. Mm -hmm. 
Five for him, five for me. What's he waiting for? The streets are not safe. Okay. Speak your peace. It's us. All on the board. He has been saving things, but he has no board clear. Because I gave him five targets and he didn't do anything. So unless he top decks a board clear, he has no board clear. Mm hmm. Good. It's all stuff that I. Welcome. Could have saved it to go face or something. He removes two. I technically win this next turn. But I am also playing for card advantage, right? Yeah, and he's out of Okay, he's not a lot of death strikes if we don't have mid range minions. Uh, okay. They are once again even, but I have a lot of small cards and a lot of big cards. It's just the order that I draw them now. Okay, good. You drew a small card. What would you have that you wouldn't play at this point? Oh, another death strike. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. We are even once again. I drew a small card. I really need to start drawing big cards. That's a mid card. We need to start drawing big cards. That'll do it. Please. You want it? I got it. I just fire sale? So that I could trade it and get something on the board? I wonder. I think it's actually just Sunwell. Fire sale would not be a terrible idea, by the way. Because you trade it, and then if you have anything that is playable, which would be four mana or below, so anything besides the Parrot, the Gargoyle, and the Arcane Defender, you win. And if you get an Arcane Defender, Gargoyle, or Parrot, you're pretty set for the next turn, too. Like, that was a good move, too. But getting a whole lot of spells and all the card advantage when you have way more health than he does, that feels like a lock as well. Alright, 5-1. Why do you want me to stop winning at Conothorpe? Did you think that this deck was only going to go 5? I said 7. Why would you say 5? Is it because our last deck went 03? And you lost faith in me? How many death strikes does one draft? It's usually pretty good. We just happen to have a deck that is, you know, not good for death strike to go against. It's super random. It's not like we planned it. Like, I would never say there's too many death strikes. Pro tip, if you don't want to have kids, don't do it. 
worst thing to have them and resent them, in my opinion. Well, I'll never resent them. Yeah, we both wanted this child. Yeah. It wasn't like a whoopsie or like a... It's like a very intentional... Super duper intentional. Like, and uh, and so, you know, you, you, you do that, right? You go in and you're like, look, this kid could suck and be terrible, but like... I asked for it, mm -hmm. like, and I did a lot of things to make it happen, and so, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Um, now, if, if that is the case, though, a second one, uh, zero <laughs> percent, you know, so that's what we're trying to figure out. <sighs> that strike is like worse fireball. Yep. Yeah, actually, I think it's about the same as a fireball. I wouldn't say it's a worse fireball. Because obviously being able to go face is good, but going face is like a one or the other kind of thing. Whereas with, uh, with, with Death Strike, you get both. Mind if I roll me. Don't make me regret this. The damned stand ready. Okay, I do not regret this. Very nice. I sense your strength. Bring out your dead. One, two, three, and two to four says, should I get pizza or poke for dinner? Are you me? <laughs> oh, I almost want to just put the enchanter out there and make the bomb. intentional choice to have a child okay okay just imagine that every one of your ancestors had a child oh wait that's a fact literal fact for every single human being and um you guys know i think a lot about myself and how smart i am and how right i am about things but no matter how much i think i'm right i could be wrong right and if I'm even like, you know, there's just any percent chance that I'm wrong means that I really shouldn't break this chain of having a child. <laughs> okay, like, I, I don't think it's a particularly like high chance that I'm wrong and that having children and not having mm -hmm. children is meaningless. But, uh, you know, I'm not willing to bet my entire like hereditary lineage and every single one of my ancestors. There's a lot. Uh, on this. So you're an only child, yeah. so I feel like maybe you have that urge more to like continue your family you want lineage. It. Whereas I for me, I'm just it. like, mm -hmm. okay. So he's clearly trying to hit face. I don't think I need cards. So I guess we'll do. Time runs, time runs out on you. No, maybe we do need cards. <laughs> Very, uh, Genghis Khan, uh, vibes I get from this damn. Why does everyone hate their ancestors? Unless, like, clearly they were on the wrong side of history, then... Okay, I get it. Um, and I think my reasoning for wanting a child is... I feel like I don't want to regret stuff in life. And I feel like I, I would regret not having a child before. Um, yeah. You want it? I Whoa. got it. Okay, I don't think that was gonna happen. That is getting real dark and depressing. Mm, that's right. Feel the groove. Uh, yes. Super yes. Melly 
Okay. Hold on. Uh, three, four, five, six. No, just three, four, five. What to do? Hmm. What to do? Three, four. Arcane energy amplified. Free me. A real stinker. Time runs out on me. I am going for this, like, card advantage game against a priest, but he went super fast. So I think we're fine. You want it? I got it. Oh my god, he's not going to do anything? My 2-1 just kills it. That feels wrong. Oh, it's going to be a long match. Want to blow something up? <laughs> oh my god, really? Can he see that? No. Such a shame. Like, can he see my deck? Magic? Yeah. I've heard of it. No, he can't. Good. I you want it? I got it.
forgot that I put a card in my hand in that position. The more you struggle, the better. Beetle died for my sins? No, not Beetle. The other minions. My 1-1 one, one snake and my 2-2 two, two died for my sins. Or just my 2-2. Two, two, right? Pain or suffering? I can't decide. Like a win? My children. Is someone injured? Does it? Does it feel like a win? Uh, is this gonna give me a parrot? Or does the shatter skin make it weird now? To do what to do. Okay. Hey, parrot. Oh, kind of oh. I have more cars than him in the deck. Downloaded a book. Okay. Cool. It's all in your head. Did that just... Like you. Huh? In case he blows it all up. If he blows it all up, we want to be able to do something, not nothing. It is finished. Nobody expects the third parrot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He tried to play the value game with me, but we had dead man's hand. Which means we had like unlimited numbers of parrots and, and the things that generate the five uh sixes. Six one. Ugh. He was so aggro in the beginning, too, and then he ended up going through his entire deck. If we didn't have Sunwell, we'd lose that game. I'm going to bitch. I'm going to feed the night. bunny. Oh, you haven't fed the bunny yet? 
Oh, well, this is her dinner time. Okay, okay. Don't shame me. <laughs> oh, Do this is not going to be good for the kid. The kid will cry I'm and doing... know. Yeah, but will we care? Knowledge is power. <laughs> So one of our goals is to soundproof the kids' room so hard. Not for like, you know, because the first, it's not about the first few months, but like once we start sleep training it and whatever, the kid will cry and then we will not be able to hear it at all. Except for the baby monitor. Um, so whenever we're like done with the whole sleep training thing, the kid's just going to be alone. And, and no one's going to come get it. Help. It? Yeah. I don't assign my kid gender. I don't assign my kid, I guess, like, consciousness? What do you call those? It's sentience? It just, it all feels like a lot, you know? Job done. Like, when the kid proves to me it's not an it, it'll be an it. CPS coming after you? Guys, Child Protective Services does very don't little. Keep your okay? Like, I don't know. If my parents got away with what they did, we're good. We are, we are very good. Because I will not approach even 25% of the stuff my parents did to me. It's good to see you. Rubblecore says, hi, five months. Got goat, got goat. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Things are not like how we grew up. Yeah? Is CPS more like hardcore now? Oh, come on. That feels good. Get them, boys. Yeah. Uh, we gotta go to the end of the deck in order to possibly win this. That one swing was just too much. Me not shady. Mm hmm. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All fire one. Go. Thought about pinging it, but if you ping it, play a Serenade Chain Gang or a Magistar's Apprentice, you get the same deal. He's gonna eat your thing with the 4-4. Four, four. I'd have him not eat my thing. So sacrificing the 2-2 two, two is about as good, right? It's like your hero power generating a 2-2 two, two, and you like miss it, which is bad, but you get to not get eaten, which is worth more than like an extra plus one plus one. He still has a coin. Like, we're just slowly losing this game right now, and we're waiting for the Ethereal Conjurers to, like, get us. Time is money, friend. Okay. That works. I do not mind that. Okay. You want it? I got it. You. Okay, we got Arcane Defenders, follow it up with a parrot. I'm just giving him the 6 4 into 4 4 trade. He can do whatever he wants with it. What was lost can be found again. Okay, interesting. Maybe you should have killed it in case of Elec. 
I don't really care that much about Alec. It's gonna come out on something. Like, I'm not gonna stop the Alec. The chances of him having an Alec versus the chance of me being able to eat it is so worth it. One Sunday get you after I'm done. Oh, I did have lethal. Did I just miss lethal? I think I just missed lethal. Not that it matters. We got our combo off. He concedes. Because we have three damage here, and we took three damage, and we know we didn't have lethal. We did not have lethal. We did not have lethal. I got a third says, I got to go. I'm gonna need to get 12 wins if you win this. Thanks. Well, we're 7 1. I said this deck is probably gonna be able to get 7 wins. I don't know how much farther it's gonna go after this. It feels good though. Like, everything feels very secure. These Ethereal Conjurers that um, HS Replay has at not super high win rate, they've been doing real good for us. Jane, I wanted her to get me a soda. And she's like, nope. The past <sighs> is dead. Knowledge is power. <clears throat> the priest you have played makes priest seem so bad. I mean, he had that nice um, turn where he took my minion. Grab your shield. It's a riot. That was pretty powerful. One mana, deal two damage, summon a two two. Sorry. Destroy two two twos, and then summon a two two. That's that's pretty good. Not have the board now for the next six turns. So it is time to survive. No rhyme, no Good at the game. Just be good at the game. 
So we're just trying to make sure he doesn't overrun us. That's it. He's already used the coin, so we're gonna slowly catch up. Oh, come on. You want it? I got it. Can't do anything. Have to just let him fill up. What? What? That was so bad for him. That was so bad. I cannot get over how bad that is. I'll get him. Like, what was that? He could have done that. He had that. He had that and he was just like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not what I'm interested in. <clears throat> oh, no spoilers on The Last of Us. At least not episode three, which we haven't watched yet. We saw one and two. Minions, servants, soldiers of the cold dark. Destiny calls to you. Arcane energy. I shall return. Look how it burns. Tony Face puts him at nine. Which is pretty good with my fireball. But he then takes over the board immediately, and I don't know if I can draw my fireball that quick. But now he needs two things, right? He needs to use one more resource in order to kill my 3 4. You call that a weapon. A dark deed to defy death. The streets are not safe. Mm -hmm. Whoa. He just leaves it? Ah, oh, and there is my fireball. Wouldn't you know it? Okay, so he realizes he is in trouble. Let's eat. I you want it. I got it. Let's eat. <laughs> Me have for you. Okay, so he was going for the uh, aggro play, which we called, and we stopped the aggro play. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> okay, don't lose this turn, and we're in very good shape. We lose. Does Para do what I think it does? Guys, I've played the I played the, the Arcane Defenders already, right? I will. in a dream. Yeah, I'm like, he can't deal five extra damage to me, and he dealt four. Whew. 
We won the way we said we would. Wait to the end, have more cards. Because he has such a big tempo advantage. <clears throat> Ballsy? Yeah, imagine if I did it the other way. I think ultimately it wouldn't have mattered because I got the parrot. But if I didn't get the parrot and I did it the other way, Jane it would have gotten eaten. It would have gotten clear. defeated. Watch your back. Knowledge is power. <clears throat> We're going to have a mini set next week, right? Like, this may be our last game in this meta. Worth it. Feed the fish, land lover. Ugh. This type of game now. Eventually, his hero power is going to be useless because he's going to hit his face so hard. So I'm not you too got the wrong worried guy, about him now. I wonder. Look how it burns! Unreal! Last one was announced on a Thursday and released Tuesday. Hopefully this one's announced like on Monday and released Tuesday. Because it's actually a really late release, guys. If they announce it on the 9th and release it on the 14th, that would be the latest ever mini set release. I think the last mini set release was like in January. Okay. I'm not gonna use Interesting. He's clearly trying to go for card advantage, which is not the way to beat us. So, I appreciate him doing that. I thought about pinging and playing a loot hoarder. Because he just pings, so he may not have another ping. But this is just a stronger tempo play. Like, I don't mind if this 4 damage goes to his face. And he uses his face on it, because it's 8 damage altogether. Puts him down. Like he's gonna be very low. Okay, things that happen. You want it? I got it.
Enchanter Arcane is actually a very powerful combo. It's a fireball for one mana. Ho ho ho! Madman. Oh, madman. too hard and we didn't even play our combo by the way you guys see that we didn't play the first step to the combo we didn't play the giant parrot for the second part of the combo that was just waiting for him he doesn't even see the combo yep and you saw how in the end he just started swinging to my face and killing two ones with his uh dagger so that like pre-prepared yeah, dagger turn was really yeah. bad for him. But he thinks he got great value, right? Out of the pirate that buffed him, the dagger. But he really just spent two mana to get a 2-2 two -two weapon. Which is not that good in this game. Especially when you're a rogue. This deck is really cool actually. It really does have a central theme combo in all good times. Yeah. One good thing about this meta is that there's a lot of these little combos that like hook up with each other and do things. Like we have ways to buff our spell damage -y stuff, and we have ways to draw cards, and we have that parrot that gets comboed with uh, you know anything big, and the conjurers to discover the big stuff, and we have a lot of fireballs and arcane balls to go face, and the conjurers to back that up. Like we got a lot of stuff that backs stuff up. Um, it's a it's a cohesive deck with multiple wins. You really just can't ask for more than that. Alright, don't suck, Matt Bomber. That's all I ask. Can you not suck, Bomber? You wanna blow something up? <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. Uh, I'm ready to be just like you. The streets are not safe! Oh, yeah. 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 Alright, that's fine. Play the three mana cleave. No big deal. Smelly fish! Yummy fish! We could work with three mana cleaves. Drink the power. <laughs> Force them to remove. Yeah, okay, force them to use the coin. That's good. You want it? I got it. Book of Scepters or a second fireball? I think it's Book of Scepters. I can't discard spells because I have the Grey Sage Parrot. If I ever discard the Arcane Defenders, it's over. Grab your shield! It's a riot! So I think that was the better card. But I had to I, I couldn't take it. I'm too scared of it discarding the Arcane Defenders. And then I actually lose this game. And I think I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Delicious That's cool. That's cool too. You want it? I got it. Pyroblast. Back to your cell! I get him. 
Pyroblast. At least it wasn't top decked. And then parrot the pyro. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, that sucks. You want if they ain't got heal. Uh uh huh. That's that's not what I'm gonna try to try to put my whole thing on. Magic. I've heard of it. One draw. Alright. Oh. Oh! Well, now things are happening. Now things are happening. Get it done, buddy. That is not gonna get it done. You are something else. GG! We said in the very first game that that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just fireball, fireball, pyroblast someone's face. And we did it. He had 24 de uh, health, and uh, it didn't matter. He put no pressure on. He just had 24 health. And so we we bombed it away. Like, he really couldn't do anything there. Even if he had, like, a lifesteal minion, it was way too slow, right? We just don't put any minions on the board. He can't do much about it until the next turn. And if he like did a counter spell, we had spells Jane, that we can uh, that we can proc it with and we can uh, well, no endless torment. Knowledge is power. I should keep a three. It's which one I keep. I'll keep silver moon sentinel. Me have bad for you. Cannot quell our flames. <sighs> Need to control the board. We are trying to win on card advantage, so we don't need to put that much pressure on his face. What? Sniper? It was very, very, very fast. Was a very, very fast key.
This is so bad. Yeah, I mean, he's literally playing with a banned card. And there's nothing he can do about that. Like, we can't win against banned cards. So some guy decided to snipe us. There's nothing you can do about it. Do I recognize the name? I do not recognize the name. That's why I didn't know it was a sniper in the beginning. That's why I was surprised that he had uh, a card like that. They are very, very rare these days. That's definitely a saved deck. And he got it off on curve, too. Like, he could have easily not drawn it, right? So it's not just that he sniped us with uh, significantly better than what he's allowed to have deck. But he got the card on curve. And pretty much ended things. I could have just slammed everything face and, like, just try to get enough so that I could just throw everything face later on and win that way. That may have been the better option. But uh, that's the difference, right? That's why I started playing this game again once they got rid of that card. Because the meta is entirely different with and without that card in the game. Like, Death Knights are still strong, but they do very normal things. And you've seen what we did. We killed so many Death Knights. We've done it... We've averaged... Like, we've gotten 12 or 11 wins more often than not. In this meta. And it's because we just draft decks and uh, and we can push Death Knights by, by not dying to them. Like, I think we generally draft a little more tempo than other people. Jane versus the Lich King. And uh, that tempo helps us survive. The and then you just are able dead. to beat Death Knights. Not always, of Knowledge course, but is had a pretty good clip. Uh, I can get a better three drop. Yeah, there we go. Two better three drops. Cool, cool. Yeah, me have bad for you. You cannot quell our flames. Strictly need to know. Don't forget to tip your door and burn to burn to cinders. All right, let's see if he has it. Can be very okay. That is also very bad in this case, but it's a lot less bad than if you had a band card. this in a way that it works so we're just gonna you go the easy it. way I got it. arcane bolts are good we're about to get to eight mana i don't know maybe a blizzard like having an aoe handy would be nice But blizzards usually get like stuck in my hand, and then you end up having to play it as like deal four damage for six mana. Oh, it's the death strikes. Oh, 
Let's go. I think I did that wrong. I could have had an extra. I could have had this as a two-one and kept an extra one here alive. So I didn't use the arcane bolt because I can arcane defenders with the arcane bolt next turn, or I can shatter skin gargoyle arcane bolt hero power. two cards and he's been playing not great cards yeah. i think something's gonna happen i don't know what it is but that's why i have arcane defender still in my hand i'm gonna try to draw as many cards as possible off this uh off this pyromaniac Reach for the skies. yeah see he's still holding those two cards i don't know what they are uh interesting you gonna blow everything now nope these are just very little cards. What is he holding? They've got to be like really big cards. Your son, welcome. Made it so I couldn't kill his minions. I gotta kill you my own minions. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> he was holding that because it was very bad. Uh, oh Alright, GG's. See, that's what a death knight, that's what a 10-2 death knight is these days. Not what we just faced before that. 11 wins. Hello YouTube again. We're just putting out a video a week because uh, uh, the meta's back, right? That's why I'm back and playing. This is a semi-normal meta. Um, we are riding the Ethereal Conjurers, a lot of these little synergies, a lot of card draw if we want, a lot of burn if we want. Um, just sometimes you get just ridiculous cards with these Ethereal Conjurers too, but there's a lot of ways to play this. You kind of just adjust to what your opponent is doing. It also has a curve. Outside of four drops, it has a full curve. And it has enough twos and ones with arcane bolts and whatever that we sort of fill in on four. Um, it's a little clunky once you get to the four and five, because five is, uh, your conjurers aren't really great five drops on curve. Um, but sometimes you just gotta do it. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty powerful deck. I thought the lack of four drops would hurt us more. Um, but we're surviving Death Knights pretty damn well, and they're the most aggressive class right now. Like, if anything, the Demon Hunter gave us the most trouble. That was even more aggressive. Hunters are not aggressive these days, at least not the way they play it. 
So yeah, in the beginning we identified that the deck has a curve, it goes out, and then it starts drawing a ton of cards. The good part about drawing cards as mage with the conjurers is if you get the card draw stuff like uh, Sunwell or other card draws, you could just kind of endlessly draw more and more cards and build up this insane endgame, even if you were going pretty late in the beginning. So we've been using that to our advantage. We've been winning most games by ending with up with more cards than our opponents, but we've also burned face um, quite a number of games. And sometimes it's our only out, and it hits not a Jaina versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Knowledge is power. Okay. The infected peasant protects more against him buffing it. They kind of fare the same against this, and the peasant is uh, is just kind of a better card for saving the peasant for now. So you can't hero power here. I'm doing this for tempo. I could ping it, but this is more tempo. It just gives up a card. Oh, he is going to hero power. That's fine. Oh, because he has a one drop. And this is where I wish I can do other things. Quell our flames. Okay. That's fine. I just need a way to deal with that, and we do have a way of dealing with that. That's why you save the arcane bolt. I'm ready to be just like you. So much tempo. I don't know what my next turn is going to be. We are at a significant card disadvantage. He's up two cards on us, or one and a half cards. And he's up his entire tempo. And we've already used our coin. He's about to run away with this. Fireball at Tolvir. I don't even need to fireball at Tolvir. I need to use my hero power. Because he's trying to push, right? Fireballing the Tolvir actually does indeed reduce the most damage to our face. And this saves the fireball for the big thing that he's going to play. He wants to play a big thing right now. He has a small thing, he has a medium thing. Now he wants a big thing. And then I can fireball it. Okay. Or... He's not playing his big thing, and we are just getting more and more super rude. Um, zombie chow is back. That's something. What to do? What to do? I could Sun Fury and ping. I could Fireball and ping. It forces me to Sun Fury next turn. I'll get one more health. But then I can't Fireball if he has something big. He's been saving cards. He could easily have something big. What to do? What to do? Time runs out on me. If we fireball, it gives us more options next turn, maybe. I'm fireballing. I don't know if it's the right... Yep, there we go. That's what we should have saved the fireball for. Would have been a smaller target, but... 
I don't think it matters. You got up to way too fast of a game. Like, we weren't going to catch that. All's well that sun wells. Yeah. We are not going to be able to win this. He basically curved out from turn one, and he had multiple, multiple buffs. Yeah, there is no way anybody's beating that. That is a 12 win deck. No turn 8? Doesn't matter. We wouldn't have won even with uh, a turn 8 taunt and then a parrot with a turn 8 taunt. He would have gotten through all of that and still be able to deal damage. Because he still had some cards. Like, he was so far up on the board. Gangalo Bear says, buy YouTube? 11 wins is YouTube. For us, 11 wins is just as good as 12 wins. Because you can't control those things that get you 12, right? Like, that deck, that start... There's nothing we can do. And the guy before that, that was sniping, nothing you can do. You're going to face those decks sometimes. But you can still get a deck really far, right? You can get a deck, this is 11 wins. It could have easily been 12 wins if we just face someone else. 